بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم اما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته so we'll just continue from yesterday regarding the, these ahadith which which gives preference to to death over life so this this one hadith here an mahmud ibn nabid رضي الله تعالى عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إثنتان يكرههما ابن آدم يكره الموت والموت خير للمؤمن من الفتنة ويكره قلة المال وقلة المال أقل للحساب. This has been narrated from a Sahaba that he عن the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم has has said that there's إثنتان there's two things there's you can say there's two traits which uh, the the son of Adam, alayhi salam, meaning which humans dislike. So there's two traits which which humans dislike by nature. Naturally, they, they humans they don't like these traits. Yakrahul maut was the first trait. The first trait is is death. That humans by nature they don't like death. Wal mautu khairun lil mu'mini min al fitna. Despite death being better for a believer, instead of instead of Engaging in in tests, trials, and, and tribulations. So the first trait is that humans, by nature, don't like death. Why? Despite well, they don't like death. Despite death being better for for a believer, instead of uh, being engaged and instead of being trialed in in tests and uh, and uh, tribulations. Well. <coughs> And the second trait that humans they they dislike a lack of wealth. When the reality is that less wealth is 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 less for for a person's account on, on the day of judgment. So here there's there's always a bright side to to something. So here our Prophet ﷺ, he mentioned regarding death that death is better instead of engaging in in fitness, instead of engaging oneself in, in trials. Why? Because when as long as a person is alive then there's a person's iman is always in danger, a person's faith is always in danger. There's a possibility that a person can, can fall into shirk, that a person can fall into uh into Associating partners of Allah Ta'ala And shirk is the, the biggest sin It's not forgiven And the same, in the same time there's, there's a possibility that a person can fall into other such trials where, Which angers Allah Ta'ala Or other such actions which will anger Allah Ta'ala Or sometimes it, a, a person they can say things which are Which are not appropriate And this could have an effect on a person's aqaid On a person's beliefs and the word fitna, you see fitna means trials and tests. And this is something which is from Allah Ta'ala also. And Allah Ta'ala tests a person, for example, in, in calamities and, uh, and for example, killings and punishments and so on and so forth, meaning you know, unfavorable uh, situations and uh, unfavorable phases in life. So as long as a person is involved in in trials and tests, and there's, we don't know what that outcome is. But once a person has passed away, then the outcome's made. We know that, okay, inshallah, that, that, that the person's passed away with the iman, that the person has passed away with and being a Muslim. Well, so as being alive, there's that certainty is not there. And as for the second trait, وَيَكْرَهُ قِلَّةَ الْمَالِ وَقِلَّةُ الْمَالِ أَقَلِ لِلْحِسَابِ That humans by nature they, they they dislike less wealth when the reality is that less wealth is is easier for, for, for a person's accountability on the day of judgment on the day of judgment every single human they'll be questioned in regards to the wealth and all the the different forms of bounties and all the different forms of blessings which which they were blessed with. 
So the more a person has, then the more questions will take place. So if a person has less to answer, then there's more chance that a person is is further from being from being punished, and there's more of a chance that a person will be entered into Jannah more swift, more swiftly, and more quickly. In another hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu has mentioned that the the poor companions they'll be they'll enter Jannah way ahead. I can't remember the exact number of years. Um, which our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned, but it's, it's, a, it's, a massive, it's a massive margin, that the poor, the, the, the poor Sahabas, they will enter Jannah by, you know, a certain amount of years, way ahead of than the rich Sahabas. So the, the question is, how come, why? So our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned that they have less to account for in comparison to, to those Sahabas that were rich. So where there's a bright side, there's a downside. And where there's a downside, there's a bright side as well. So this is the nature of the world. And there's this saying that الدنيا تدعو إلى فتنة والشيطان يدعو إلى خطيئة ولقاء الله خير من الإقامة معهما That the world it always calls a person towards trials and tribulations. And shaitan is always, causing, is always calling a person towards making errors and sinning. And meeting Allah Ta'ala is better then remaining with both of these. So may Allah Ta'ala give us a tawfiq to benefit, inshallah Ta'ala. And may Allah Ta'ala make it easy for us to, to pass these tests and trials and make us from those who are successful, inshallah Ta'ala. Subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanakallah, wa bihamdika, shadu wa la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka, atubu ilaka.